Hello and welcome, I'm Board Gamer, and this is a sponsored video about Toby Eye Tracker and Star Citizen uses for it. Toby came to us and said, You and Zin, you have eyes. Some of the best eyes. We'd like to get those peepers working for us using Toby Eye Tracker to promote a video and a sweepstake and a sale and well, highlight cool stuff that you can do in Star Citizen using your head and eyes when it's all natively supported by Toby Eye Tracker 5. Until the 19th of April, you can grab one of these Toby Eye Tracker 5s with a 15% discount. The links are down below. There's also a sweepstake that you can join, which closes the day before, so on the 18th. Um, you can win a range of Star Citizen ships like a Constellation Aquila and even a Toby Eye Tracker 5. You can find all of the details of that and the links down below as well. Zin and I both have Toby Eye Trackers and we use them on and off. It's an incredibly useful tool for Star Citizen and a range of other games. And as Star Citizen updates, I'm expecting the Toby Eye Tracker 5 to get a bit more depth and synergy with it as well. But it will almost certainly evolve with it. That's not a confirmation, but it is an expectation. They aren't super cheap pieces of kit though, but for some people they're going to be really worth it. I thought Zin and I would run around Orison and look at pretty things in FPS and then take you through some of the more exclusive benefits of eye tracking and head tracking in ship combat. Setup and calibration wise, the device is incredibly quick and it's plug and play. It takes a few minutes in total from box to being ready to use. Get your eye tracker 5 from Toby, open the box, stick the magnetic strip to your monitor. Some monitors don't need it, but curved monitors, they can also use like the little plastic mount. Download the eye tracking software. You can also get the Toby Ghost software, which shows you where your eyes are looking, which is absolutely fantastic for streams and videos. There's also Toby Game Hub, which enables the head and eye tracking in a load more games, some of which aren't necessarily natively supported, but you can still bodge it to work and sometimes work pretty well. You want to install that eye tracking software, run the calibration, and then when you want to use it, you just have to make sure that the Toby Experience app is running. Once you're in Star Citizen, it's as simple as going to the head tracking options in game, setting it to Toby as its source, and then tweaking the various sensitivities to your liking. You can turn off the FPS tracking here, you can change a load of stuff. For best practice of using it and really refining it and getting the best out of it, you probably want to keep on changing little bits and little settings as you find out what's going on with them. Like, oh, my head's rolling a bit too much or a bit too little. Let me change that setting. You can change all of this to your personal preference. And although it works pretty good straight out of the box, you're going to get the best experience out of it if you do tweak all these settings so that they are perfect for you. I do also recommend that you set a recenter head tracking key, which you can find in advanced options. Just go down to the head tracking settings there. Basically, this is great if you lose where you are on screen or your head tracking starts acting weird or you've walked off and come back and you want to recenter that head tracking. See, my Toby stuff is being tracked in game. Good job. Well, no. Hmm. I haven't turned it on in game. It's being tracked now. Your, your ghost is working. So now I need to turn it on in game. Uh, assumedly in comms, foip, and head tracking. Yes. So you'll have an option uh, under head tracking general source. You want to set that uh, yeah. to Toby. And then obviously you want to enable head tracking. Uh, yeah. But then you'll also want to, if you want, to uh, disable during FPS, set that to no. Disable during FPS, where are we talking about? A little bit further down the list, like a couple of a couple of bits below where you are. Uh, what's the exact setting called? Head tracking, uh, general toggle, disabled during FPS. Do I, do I want that on or off? Do you want to disable it during FPS? No. Then no. Then I click on no, okay. So does this also, is this also now turned on eye tracking? So it was a head and eye tracking of Toby when you turn it on. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can change how strong it is for head tracking. You can change how strong it is for eye tracking. Have you just set yours on defaults? I've got mine set to defaults. I think, yeah, it would be because it's a... Uh, a new install since I last used it, so. So this is me looking around with my eyes. Ooh, and this is me turning around with my head. And you actually move in game now as well, which I don't think it was something that used to happen. Oh, that's... So, i tell you what. Mm. Knowing that you're looking at places and turning your head. Yeah. While I'm also turning mine, that's a strange <laughs> thing. Oh my god, I could... 
In the affirmative. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's pretty cool. Um, do you think the AI will be able to at some point pick up on me saying no or oh, yes? Oh, maybe. And it's pr probably pretty easy to program, right? Yeah. Just come on, CIG. Just can you just finish the game and get this in, please? I think I do um, want to change some settings. It seems quite a bit twitchy. Head tracking. There'll be Toby specific settings for it. Toby specific acts. Ah, I'm looking at place where no worries. I wonder for people that are watching a stream. Mm. Yeah, how unsettling is the because you're constantly going to have screen shake, right? Because my eyes are going to constantly be moving a little bit, and so is my head. Yeah, but it's it's sort of smoothed. But yeah, I guess it would be. Um... It could give you motion sickness, maybe. But if you're yeah. watching, I mean, I set. This is a, this is a quite a comfortable way to play because I'm obviously I'm always focused on the what I'm looking at. Mm. Oh, oh lost no! Thirty k. No. Can't head track a thirty k. Oh oh, and turn it off in Moby Glass. Jesus, that's impossible to use. The head tracking or eye tracking, or both? I just disable during MOBA glass. Yes. Because you'll try and click on something and you're looking at it, so your your view keeps moving. <laughs> oh, that's that. Let's have a look, see how bad they're. Like. I'm fine with that. I'm not. Wow, you, you, you're twitching. <laughs> I'm working out ways that it would work and wouldn't work. Um. I'm actually fine with that. <laughs> but I can see how annoying it can, it could be. Hi, Zin. Hi, one sec. One of the things you've got to keep in mind is that you don't turn with your head. You still turn with mouse. So if you look left and then start pressing forward, you're not going to move left. Yes, Sinya. Yes, Sinya. Can't drink while using Toby Eye Tracker. Yeah, I took a swig of water and my head went mental. <laughs> Gives you good head roll. It tracks it really well. I think what it is is that, yeah, it's it's quite immersive knowing that you're also got the same thing on as me. I think when FOIP is working really well with this, it's going to be incredibly immersive. <laughs> and just think of the things that you 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 would see now, literally in a different way. Because like, let's 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 go on a little let's go on a little hunt around Orison for pretty things. Well, fireflies are out. Orison is absolutely fantastic looking day or night. Sort of interested to see it. If, do my what happens when I look at something like the Okay, yeah, it's not well, it's the, not moving me. Yeah, so the, the eye tracker does do a bit of stabilization. And the dead zone's important as well. Mm. So because if I'm just moving my eyes a little tiny bit to track the sort of falling leaves, I don't want my head to go raw. <laughs> <laughs> Like a maniac. How do you find it wearing glasses? Any any problems with it tracking? Uh, I don't think so. Like from as far as I can tell, the um, my frames don't interrupt the the tracking lights, whatever the hell they are. Yeah. So there's there's four four little red lights basically on the on my yeah. eye tracker. The lenses don't um. Don't make a difference from what I can tell. I mean, maybe it does, and I just I'm used to it, but it doesn't doesn't stop me from being able to use it. It seems pretty precise to me. So when you were reading this, did your eyes follow it? Like, yeah, a little bit. A little tiny bit. Okay, that's nice. Okay, it's getting me to look at things in slightly different ways. It's sort of giving a bit of depth to the feeling of stuff. Obviously, you could use it in lots of different ways, the Toby Eye Tracker, because it does give you sort of an extra tool of, well, yeah, I can use my eyes to look around. I can turn my head. I can 
use that in the cockpit. I can use that to get some additional situational awareness when I'm sort of fighting. Although, running around in FPS with it and fighting with it is going to take some getting used to. It's in doing a little march here. I'm assuming the <laughs> server, server's lagging a little bit. At the moment, natively supported in Star Citizen, but it is supported in other games, um, even if it's not natively in all. But some of the other games have some absolutely fantastic features like um, being able to snap to a target that you're looking at, um, and then pew, so you can, like, in, I think it's in Far Cry 5, you snap targets and shoot them. Um, pretty awesome. There's some cool stuff that we can do in Star Citizen as well, with uh, looking around in cockpits and targeting. Um, look at and gaze-based targeting. Oh. I haven't Ooh. always noticed that sound. The narwhal sound or the water sound? The narwhal sound. Well, it means space wow. Space wow. So, I'm not sure if I've said this, but I only relatively recently learned that narwhals were real. Oh. They they are sea unicorns, Zin. Why would I, th <laughs> why would I think they're real? Yeah, so the, the, the basics of Looking around, pretty cool, much more immersive than normal, very useful for a variety of things in-game. Um, is it going to be for everyone? No. Is it a very useful additional tool? 100%. And if you want to do a bit of roleplay, and if you want to do a bit of um, communication with VoIP and stuff in the future, awesome. Uh, and I think that it would be my expectation, although definitely not a confirmation, that there's probably going to be more and more features and better support for Toby Eye Tracker um, in the future. Make sure that people are aware of this. It is not just eye tracking. It is very much head tracking. Head tracking. Mm -hmm. Very, very precise, very good head tracking that I've not been bothered to set up particularly well. This is sort of like out of the box, a couple of couple of settings tweaked just for um, my liking. If you want to go really deep in with this, fantastic. You can have a significantly better experience. What are you thinking, Zin? Is this something you'd use like really regularly, or is it too much faff? I, I don't think it's faff, but I probably wouldn't use it that regularly. I, I prefer it mostly in the cockpit. I see. No, no, I get you. This is cool. I'm just I'm just so used to looking around with my mouse. That's that's the thing. So, Zin. Yes. Any problem with low lights or anything? I've just turned my lights on and off. I don't see any difference. Seems to. I mean, with... my my room's pretty. Um, pretty dark. No, it's pretty bright at the moment because yeah. <laughs> of the sun. Um, yeah, I, I mean, in theory, the way it works, it shouldn't have any trouble because it's essentially getting, uh, I think it's IR, might not be, but it's getting just a reflection of your eyes. It doesn't need light to work, I don't believe. Okay. It has made no noticeable difference me turning my lights on and off and I've got blackout curtains in my room. It's pretty dark. I've turned them off. Seems to work absolutely fine. So I want to see how the gaze-based tracking works for this at the moment. Because I haven't actually used it much in my cockpit before. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, do a missile lock on someone and then look away. I like the fact, yeah, so I literally can just look at something and then press T. Have you tried the missile yet? Um, I'm not sh What's it doing for you? It's unlocking if I look away hmm. from the target. Oh, yeah, if you look too far away, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it, because it, it's still technically in my crosshair, but I'm not looking at it, so it's not looking anymore. So if I get distracted by anything, my um my aim goes to hell and going 
above SCM, I'm finding it very hard to track appropriately. But as soon as I go to SCM speeds, being able to track a little bit with my eyes. So tracking you there was pretty cool. I could track you as you went past me. Could see what you were mm. firing at. Much able to, much more able to track the enemy straight away afterwards. I must admit, using the eye tracker in in combat, which is a bit more of a fast-paced combat, uh, is taking a bit to get used to. But I do see it being incredibly useful. The only thing I really wanted to show about the cockpit stuff is that, yes, you can look around the cockpit. It's pretty cool. It gives you more view and scope of view while you're flying. So you you can't do that just with the mouse because obviously it's gonna you're gonna be gimbaled or pointing mm. towards. So you can track things a lot better. And just by looking at something, you can then press T, and you, you target. Bam! That that's absolutely fantastic. I would expect that Toby will evolve in the future to encompass any other updates that Star System does with sort of like um, subsystem targeting or whatever, whatever they decide to do eventually. And it's sort of just cool to watch you fly around. Like I can see you much more readily track the target you're on. See any enemies? I can hear them. I think with a little bit more refinement as well, actually getting into the controls, you could have an even significantly better experience. And this is pretty, pretty good, almost straight out of the box.
Yeah, I'm finding it a lot easier to track them now that I've got back into this sort of swing. Gotcha. Yeah, being able to effectively target people almost behind me. Well, not behind me, but like 180 degrees to the side of me as I'm flying past them. That's great. Boom! That's it for your Toby Eye Tracker video. As I said, you can get 15% off until the 19th of April. I think they're awesome, but I'm getting paid. That said, I was promoting Toby Eye Tracker well before I was getting paid. Shill for what you love. They're not going to be for everyone. I do think they're going to be for a lot of people. They're pretty useful. I do think they're genuinely fantastic as well. If you've got a HOTAS uh, or joystick setup, giving you the extra freedom to look around in your cockpit is just superb. If you've got any questions about the Toby Eye Tracker or anything that you saw in this video, please chuck it in the comments below. We'll see if we can answer some of them. Do you have a Toby Eye Tracker 5? What do you think of the experience? Do you think they're cool but too expensive? Do you think, oh yeah, it's probably something I'll adopt later once there's more advanced technology for this? Or does this sort of stuff just not interest you at all? You'd rather play with your mouse and your keyboard on my monitor that's flat. It's not broke, so why try to fix it? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Sorry, soon you could just use the last bit of footage there where I murder everything really easily. <laughs>